What's going on you guys, it's PD Fishing and today we're back with another video. It's been a little bit, sorry about that guys, I've been really busy. But today we're back with a really exciting video because today we're going to be headed on a little road trip to see if we can pick up a new tow rig for my boat right here. Let's get into it. Now before we get into this video, I appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I upload. I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers this year. so. I can't do that without you guys' help. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into this video. So as you guys know, I have my boat, my Nitro Z18. I bought this last year, like at the end of last year, 2022. Um, it's been a really good boat. I love it a lot. Um, so this is my truck right now. It's a little Chevrolet 1500 um, extended cab, you know. And uh, it's just a base model. It's got the 5.3 liter V8. Uh, Vortec engine in it. And it's been a really good truck to me. Um, it's it's got 297,000 miles on it, so you know it, it's old and it's you know it's getting there to the end of its lifetime. It still runs really good. You could probably sell it for a good amount, probably four thousand dollars, something like that. Um, but I just need something bigger and you know able to tow this thing better uh, and get some better gas mileage. I'm getting about 14 miles to the gallon with this truck right here. This thing's a gas burner, so. Uh, I just uh, I just need something that'll tow better, and uh, overall just something newer. I think this, this is a 2006, so just get something a little newer, something that tows the boat better. And I think we have found that truck, and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're on a road trip to Bonifay, Florida, and uh, we're gonna be going looking at a truck, and it's gonna be pretty sick. Hopefully we can get it, and uh, we'll see. I'll see you guys there. Let's go on a little road trip, boys. All right, guys. So a little development happened. So I told you guys I was. I don't think I told you guys what it was yet. So I don't have to correct them. But as advertised, this truck was a 2013 Dodge Ram 2500 Lar or Laramie, yeah, Laramie. Uh, and so we figured out that the VIN number was matching to a 2012 Dodge Ram.
We're gonna take this thing on a test drive, let it warm up, and after that, I'm gonna check the blow-by on it, make sure it's not bad at all. One thing you wanna make sure you do with these diesels is check the blow-by on the diesels. But one thing you guys wanna check on these trucks is the blow-by. We're gonna let it warm up, we're gonna take it on a test drive, then we get back and check the blow-by, make sure there's not excessive pressure. Could mean the head gasket's pretty bad, I don't know, we'll see. Um, looks pretty clean though. First impressions looks really clean, looks really good. So we'll see how it is. But uh, I also didn't tell you guys, or I just told you guys this was deleted and uh, I think he's got like a mild tune on it, he said. Um, but yeah, it's deleted. Um, he deleted the EGR and the DEF, which is what I wanted for my truck because I don't like that DEF, EGR, all that crap. The government puts these EPA regulations on these trucks to make the air cleaner even though they're flying around jets and airplanes in the sky, they don't have any of that stuff. They're worried about the vehicles for our uh, ozone layer, whatever the heck they're talking about, I don't even know, our air, make our air cleaner. But uh, yeah, things looks good. Um, he deleted the EGR and DEF, which makes the uh, engine breathe better. He's got a straight pipe on it, which makes it breathe better. And uh, honestly, the DEF, it chokes out the engine over time. And it just, it's not good for the truck. It's really not good. So uh, yeah, overall though, looks really clean, looks really good. Let's uh, take this thing on a test drive and see how it feels. And uh, inside looks really good and uh, not complaining. I think it's, it's got like one, one, one little, I mean for farm truck use, I'm not surprised. It's got, you know, it's got a scratch back here, right there. But I'm not surprised about that. I mean, it's a farm truck for farm truck use. So, I mean, I mean, there's gonna be some scratches on it, right? But other than that, man, it looks pretty clean. Looks pretty daggum clean. Those leaf springs will tow that boat like it's nothing. It's got four leaf springs in there. Like I said, a little bit of surface rust, but we can get that off pretty easily. Gotta get used to that. Fuel economy, 15.1 average miles to the gallon. It's better than what I'm getting on mine. Better than what I'm getting on my truck. Still no backup cams, bro. I don't want to hit anything. I don't know if anything's behind me. Whoa, you hear that Cummins? Give us your thoughts, bro. Give us your thoughts. This thing is clean. It's response. Stuff that can be taken care of. A, a bunch, just a bunch of minor stuff, honestly. Um, but. For what is it? Nothing, for what it is? Unexpected for what it is. Yeah, for what it is, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Can hear something. That's that sounds like it might be a shocker or something. A strut that might be out. Shifts pretty cleanly at low RPMs. No banging. Don't hear the trans tranny banging. Listen to that. Listen to that Cummins purr. We'll hear it better when we get on regular road. It's really responsive though. As soon as I barely tap the throttle, it's like, it's really it's responsive. Talking. Yeah, guys, I'm really liking it. I think, I think it's a go for sure. It feels really nice. Looks really nice. It's a farm truck, classic minor issues on it. Watch this dog. Minor scratches. Brakes feel good. Barely got to tap the brakes. What is this dog doing? I don't know, just go slowly go around. Make sure you don't run over the dog. But I mean, carpet's nice. I mean, got a couple rips in the seats, but I mean, it's a farm truck. It's, it was used a lot, so. Old pop truck, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, we're gonna drive this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna give her a little gas at some point. Make sure it, make sure it. Uh, make sure you remember where we're coming back to, because I don't, I, do I have my phone? I got my phone, okay. Shifting wasn't bad, it felt good. What? Dang, he's got three quarters of tank in this sucker. Hey, yeah, that's my, my son, that's my dog. Just remember, I pay the payment. You do any kind of mechanical work that needs to be done, so. It's definitely probably gonna need some, like, I don't know, it might need some. Up front adjustment. Front end type stuff like going yeah. on, yeah, but I don't, 
you know we're gonna have to address that don't, but i don't know if it'll be that expensive it may just need some we'll see some tie rods or we'll see. some adjusting or something the cummins it's just my personal preference i like them a lot they can hold a lot of pre or they can take a lot of beating so yeah it's pretty nice it's got like i said it's got some minor issues but stuff that can be addressed but uh overall man it's really clean back seat front seats they're a little bit dirty you know farm truck use but nothing a little clean and can't do to it nice truck overall so uh we're gonna check this blow by once we get back to make sure it's not freaking the cap ain't bouncing all right you guys so like i said you want to check the blow by after the after the engine is warmed up so all you gotta do is just take the oil cap off No blow by at all. Nothing. All right. Perfect. <laughs> you gotta jump. Turns off. All right. It doesn't have the bell squeak. That's okay. Cummings usually has the bell squeak. Like my Ford has more of a bell squeak than Cummings. All right. Let's get this ball rolling. You good with it? Heck yeah. All right, you guys, so this is what the boat looks like hooked up to the truck. Nice little paint match. That's white on black. Got some white on the truck matching each other. Looks pretty sick. We got the truck, guys, as you guys can see, and uh, drove it home a couple days ago. Got dark, so I wasn't able to film. So I want to go over the truck with you guys, show you guys what is on the truck, what it's got in it, and uh, just everything about it so you guys can see what's going on. So. We can start out uh, on the exterior. It's all white. It's got some pinstripe on it. We're going to take that pinstripe off. It's got some old badges on the side. We're going to keep the Cummins badge on it, obviously. Um, but we're going to take the, the old Ram 2500 badge off it. Just keep it off it. Uh, keep kind of a little plain, clean look. And uh, yeah, so all white. Got the tow mirrors, obviously. Those are Dodge tow mirrors. This truck is also four wheel drive. And that's one of the main things that I wanted for a truck. I mean, if, if, if it's anybody looking for a truck, you, you, want, you always want a four wheel drive. It's always good to have the extra two wheels just in case you get in some kind of bind. I don't know what that would be going off roading or you know, having fun going off road and getting stuck and stuff. You, I mean, four wheel drive is always, always a key element to a truck. So yeah, it has four wheel drive, uh, four, four wheel low, four wheel high and uh, they, they all work so that is the main thing in this truck that i wanted and also it has this is not like spray in or anything but it's just like a plastic bed liner um probably just keep the paint from getting stracked scratched or anything in there and uh yeah it's got a bunch of dirt and crap in it so i'll have to clean that out but i'll get that i'll get that once we clean it up but uh yeah tires right now the tires are 35s and the wheels, I think, are 20 inch. Yeah, 20 inch.
tires are a little old, so we're just gonna go ahead and replace them. Um, and they're unevenly worn, so definitely need to get that on that. But yeah, my plans for the wheels, for the rims, are to switch those fuels out with some, uh, some good looking stock um, Dodge rims. So uh, make it look like a Boba truck, if you know what a Boba truck is. Uh, and yes, the windows are, are already tinted, which I like. Dark, nice dark, so you, nobody can see inside who you are. Uh, but I like rolling down the windows and driving anyway to hear that nice exhaust. But uh, yeah, back windows tinted. It's got a slide, a slide. A ranch hand bumper uh, or uh, brush guard to put on it. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I gotta figure out if I like the kind of the stock look of it, just kind of keep it off or put a, a brush guard on it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll see. We'll play it by ear um, or we'll play it by mine. But yeah, that's basically it. Walk around in the truck and uh, let's go ahead and show you guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add uh, it came with these um, black. Uh, step bars right here these uh nerf, nerf bars so so let's go ahead and show you guys the inside you guys saw the inside when we went and picked it up but let's go ahead and show you the overviews of it it's the inside door panel dash really surprised this center console actually isn't worn up and it's actually pretty clean so yeah these are the seats these are what it look like they're a little dirty right now but we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. This whole truck needs to be clean, so we'll, we're gonna do that. So uh, yeah, there's the carpet. And uh, got the stock dash in it. I might actually, I'm probably gonna take out this radio because this radio is a little funky. Sometimes it turns on, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll probably take this radio out and replace it. But uh, yeah, steering wheel, front seat. Front seat's got a rip in it. Might go to, probably gonna go to and pick a pull and see if we can find any more SL, SLT seats. The good thing about these seats are they're, they are not electronic. It's just a slide back and forth seat. So there's probably like, I don't know, four or five, six bolts under there that you can just take out and take the whole seat out. So might go to a pick and pull and just uh, grab another SLT seat that's um, cleaner. But yeah, here's that, there's the dash. intake got two batteries one over there one right here and uh just your basic just your basic engine stuff i already bought some uh oil and stuff to do oil change just to make sure it's good but uh yeah that's basically it can't wait to uh see what this thing holds in the future might do a little upgrades to it who knows probably 
um, just to make a little more power, get some more, more power, baby. Also wanted to show you guys this. If you guys wanted to know what the um, exhaust setup is, it's a, a I want to say it's a straight pipe, but I don't think it is because there is a sinister diesel um, kit. And it's, it's a straight pipe all the way till here, which looks like they put a little muffler on it. But the funny thing is, and it's axle dumped as you guys can tell, the funny thing is about it is it's still loud. Like it's still, it's still pretty loud with a muffler on it. So I like what, I like how it sounds now. So I probably won't take it off. I'm, I'm probably not gonna take it off though. It sounds really good right now. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, like I said, five inch, five inch exhaust from Sinister Diesel. And it looks like this is an eight inch tip, eight inch chrome tip, makes it sound beef. This, this is gonna tow my truck or my boat like it's nothing. So uh, yeah, that's the main thing I was looking for. Also, I just kind of needed a new truck anyway. My old truck had a lot of miles on it and uh, yeah, just need a new truck, a little upgrade. And uh, yeah, I really like it, I love it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. It's really hot out here. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching this video again. I really appreciate y'all's support. And if you want a uh, SLX DC, if you want a chance to win an SLX DC, go um, to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, go follow our Instagram. We are gonna give away a SLX DC at 2,000 subscribers. So if you wanna win an SLX DC, go do that, go do all that stuff. And uh, we're out of here. So as always, keep slapping boys.